Well, hello there. It's Beards and Bangers. And today you join me from the East Midlands. I'm up in Belper or near Belper in Derbyshire. And I'm at the Great British Car Journey. You can probably just about see the sign behind my left ear here. Because today is a, uh, a gathering organized by the MG Car Club. So uh, here we are, here's the MG Car Club's uh, one of their famous cars, a, a ZR160 Express van. Uh, we've got the gazebo with the uh, ZR ZSZT register. So really good club, I'm a member of this. That's a very, very well organized club. And we've got a plethora of MGs here today. We're gonna have a wander around them. We've also got a couple of Rovers. Uh, my, my Rover Streetwise is here, but it's been taken off for a review by young Simon from Smashing Pistons. But there are two other Streetwises here. 2024, of course, is the year of the Streetwise. Um, we've got Hannah's lovely, I mean, this, this for me is car, car heaven a three-door trophy yellow rover streetwise uh, needs a bit of tlc but this car's used daily we've got matt's um ski blue uh streetwise these are both 1.4s 1.4 petrols um both sporting their year of the streetwise stickers which is excellent so two very nice streetwise but what we're going to do is have a look around at some of the other cars that are here Welcome to Beards and Bangers. So the first one we come to is this really nice um, X Power Grey MG ZR 160. It's a Mark One, so it's got the the dual headlamps, which I think are pretty pretty attractive. Um, very nice exhaust on this car, actually. It's very subtle. I did hear it driving in, and it wasn't. It was a nice nice raspy noise without being too in your face. So I don't know what exhaust that is, but it's a got a very pleasant sound um, next we've got this rather nice pearl black ZT 260 now I heard this coming in as well and it's it, the engine on this just sounds absolutely smooth as silk um, yeah they're quite they're, they're quite hard engines to sort of keep in a decent state of tune I having having had that experience myself but this one is sounding really nice it's got some nice um, apex wheels as well uh, yeah pearl black nice color quite rare for some reason probably not as popular as it should have been um got a nice few f's and tf's here today um trophy blue i think this is probably a 135 um yeah very well looked after car um again sounded nice i think it's got a stainless steel sports exhaust that sounded very nice as it drove in um and then a british racing green i think this is an f rather than a tf looking at those um air vents yeah it's a it's got a sad face, so it's an F, but yeah, British racing green F, beige leather seats. Yeah, it does look really rather nice. Um, look, nice bit of walnut trim as well. So yeah, that's, that's quite a, this is quite a luxurious looking car. I really quite like that. Um, next to that, we have got, so we've not just got MGs, we've got a few Rovers here today. So we've got, I think we've got five Rovers in total. We've got this Moonstone early 75 this is a uh, i think this is a two liter v6 this one um very smooth engine um quite thirsty but very very smooth yeah in moonstone with the cowley bumper so we've got the black we can tell because we've got the black skirt around the bottom of the bumper um and of course we've got the the dual headlights denoting it as a mark one yeah lovely moonstone's a really nice color um very very attractive uh, i think this is probably a connie uh, it probably, it's probably a Connie SE actually, looking at it. It's hard to tell without looking actually inside. They don't have any kind of, they don't have any badging to say that they are Connoisseur SEs. Yeah, this is a very clean, very tidy example. And you, could, you couldn't even hear the engine on this when it pulled in. It was, it, the, those, those, those KV6 engines are so smooth, it's unreal. And then we've got another Cowley 75, uh, this time in Cherry Grove. I think I've got the color right there. Um, again, Cowley bumper, as you can see. Uh, this one is a two and a half litre. So this has got the KV6, the two and a half litre KV6. Again, beige leather interior. This one's got the Jatco automatic box. Um, again, possibly a Connoisseur, possibly a Connoisseur SE. It's hard to tell sometimes. Pro I'd, I'd actually say, looking at the sound system, it's a Connoisseur SE because it's got the um, the Harman Kardon uh, speakers. So that's quite a top spec one but that's again 
very very attractive car the the paint is 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 brilliant um that is glowing and it's lovely it's a lovely warm color you saw my review earlier in the year of um of a 1.8 in this color and it is a very warm attractive color and i think that's it for the rovers other than penny who's say off off with simon at the moment but then we've got this zr 160 pearl black I've seen quite a few pearl black cars here it's got some uh, custom wheels so not not standard wheels but um, gives us a very good appreciation of the brake setup on these so quite beefy brakes these are drilled grooved and vented um, <clears throat> So yeah, you got you do need some decent heat dissipation with the uh, the ZR160 because they're powerful little beasts. Three door, um, and it's not pearl black; it's actually monogram nightshade. So a bit hard to tell because it's got a little bit of little bit of a road splatter on it. A bit of a body kit. So we've got a splitter on the front, and we've got this kind of um, custom uh, rear bumper. But that's that's really really attractive. Yeah, monogram nightshade. So there we are, another colour we've learned today. Here's Gonzales. Um, British Racing Green, sorry, Le Mans Green um, ZT CDTI. <clears throat> We've seen this at a few shows this year and it really is quite a nice looking thing. And then we've got Philips car from Dortmund. So a left-hand drive German registered ZTT190. Um, and this sounds really, really smooth. So it's got a very, very nice engine note, but it, it sounds creamy like a KV6 should. Uh, he's got a roof tent on here, so he's He's actually going to be sleeping in this car so philip phillips are trying out the roof tents i know some of us have joked about having these um on the street wise but he has actually done it on this zt2 but yeah very nicely maintained car um I, i'm not sure exactly how many of these are in germany um but there is a there is a rover an mg rover and rover and mg following in germany and this is it's great to see him again today because uh, i met him at pol a few months ago and that's that's beautiful and then we've got a long lineup now so we're into the the rump of the beasts we'll uh <clears throat> we'll wander over here and start with this uh rather nice green mgr v8 and you see i always find it quite interesting on these that you've got mg badging so it is an mg because it's an mgb body shell but you've got Rover written down the sides. I think that's the only car they did this on, um, even though this is contem contemporaneous, because that's a long word for a Sunday, with um, the very early MGF. So yeah, Connolly beige leather interior, lots of walnuts, very, very attractive car. Still, still I think I said in my video recently, still looking to get my hands on one of these to review. Um, I'd love to get my hands on one of them to buy at some point, but so uh, we might have to be a bit patient for that. But yeah, MGB body shell, uh, slightly remodeled at the front to give it these sort of more round headlights so you've got, obviously got a, 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 a coded bumper uh, but you've got the Range Rover 3.9 litre V8 under the bonnet so uh, a, lot, a lot of these went to Japan a uh, very popular car in Japan um, another ZR I think this is a, this is a TD so it's a, it's a 113 brake horsepower three door night fire red very attractive um, with a, with the lovely L series engine on, which of course you can you can uh, you can uh, see on my channel with Penny the Streetwise, and then a very nice, I think it's ski blue um, MGF. Nice spoiler on the back. Hello guys. Hello. Very nice wheels. Um, <clears throat> this has got the leather interior. And that is a that is a very good looking car. I've not seen one of these in this colour before. You know, that's that's interesting. Just to go around here to avoid interrupting these people's photographs. MG, late MG BGC for sale, eight and a half thousand. Oh, parsecs considered. Don't tempt me. So yes, yeah, quite a late one. Um, I forget which colour this is. Vermilion. It's a vermilion, orange, red, red. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I do have trouble with colours, but yeah, I, do, I, I actually, I'm one of the few people who likes the rubber bumper at MGBs because I think they, <clears throat> I think they, I think they've got some character. Probably because they were still brand new cars when I was born. So. And then we've got this trophy yellow ZR. Um, it's got oh, it's got BRM seats. Look at that. So you saw Adam's 25 in my Shedfest video with his, his BRM seats. 
but this is this has also got BRM seats, which I think's fine. Um, yeah, ZR of some description. Can't tell what it is um, <clears throat> without look without looking under the bonnet. Um, I would say it's not a 160, but yeah, it's an interesting card. You can custom front bumper with those massive spotlights at the front. So that's a uh, yeah, that's quite an interesting setup. I'm wondering if that's of a different car, different mark of car altogether, because that's uh, that's certainly interesting. Starlight Silver um, ZT 260. You're obviously you're familiar with this car or this type of car from my channel. Uh, this one's got a standard air intake, so no 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 turb, no force induction, no <clears throat> no uh, cone filters. But yeah, very attractive. Um, custom 4.6 badges on the side. I've got the bigger the bigger spoiler like my um like my zt 260 as well uh the exhaust on this i think could be zeros uh, and they sounded very nice when this car pulled in earlier yeah that's a very attractive car indeed that's quite i think that, that those roof bars actually give it quite a nice stance and uh, very dark apex wheels i wouldn't say they're shadow chrome they look darker than shadow chrome yeah these are these are good cars and next to it, I saw this coming in and I was like, wow, that is amazing. So we've got a Mirage, and I think this is probably Mirage 1, um, ZTT. And this just, this car just shines. Uh, it really does shine. Yes, I've just been told this car has been resprayed, but it, whoever's done the respray has done a bloody good job because that's a, that is a really good looking car. Very attractive. It's got the Alcantara um, seats. So you've got Alcantara leather with the, the sort of standard leather trim. Um, don't think it's an SC or anything, anything like that. But it's yeah, lovely looking ZTT. And then we've got a ZS ZS 180 saloon. I think we've got here uh, in trophy blue. And of course, you've seen my video on one of these before. But these are these are again really good driver's cars very 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 um fun to drive mgf freestyle in probably not quite starlight silver that's probably a slightly different color um but again ni very nice wheels they're very very attractive and we've got that lovely stippled black leather so same as the one we just saw a minute ago and the same as my one and a very nice r8 cabriolet has just turned up so we should have a little look at that in a sec Another ZS, this one X Power Grey. This is the hatchback. And then a car that many of you, we'll just have a bit more look at that. So probably a 120, I would think, this ZS. I'm distracted by the sound of that R8 coming in because it sounds very, very nice with its big fat exhaust. Yeah, ZS, nice big spoiler. Why are you looking at this car again? Oh, Norman Butler's just arrived. It's a lovely colour, isn't it? Do you it? like this colour, Norman? No, it's horrible, I oh. hate it. It's oh, okay. very boring. Now, next to this ZS, we've got Margaret. So, viewers of my channel will recognise this car. So, Simon from Smashing Pistons, this is his car. Yeah, he's a right idiot, him. If you say so, Norman. You see his stickers he's put all the way back. Oh. I mean, what's that? Well, he, Simon's obviously got a thing for Japanese kind of culture, so... We'll let him. We'll let him do that. Cause it's his car. Have you been walking around with all these cars? I have, Norman. Yeah. Are you on YouTube? Yo, oh, yes. Oh, good. What do you watch YouTube you? channel? Is it Beards and Bangers? Oh, you like sausages? Oh, yes. I oh, like yes. Sausages. Yeah. Sharon yeah. likes sausages. Where's your friend? Right? I've heard Sharon. Where's your friend? Ernest. Oh, yeah. Um, he's round that corner somewhere oh, with this, this young man. Oh, okay. Well, he's we'll... showing him a big end or something. Oh, we'll, we'll have a look at. We'll have a look at Ernest in a yeah. minute then. So, so there's Margaret. Margaret's Margaret's here, which is really good. Another RV8, so this time in night fire red, and that's uh, we just told you what the R, the R, the uh, RV, RV8 is all about, so we won't go into that again. Another F, and then we've got they've got, we've got one of the most beautiful MGs ever built. We've got an MGA. This one in red. Look at the chrome just singing. So I showed you quite a few of these yesterday at my Cop Hill video, but this is a uh, this is a very pretty thing. And there's Boaty from Boaty's oh, World. about to be bloody interrupted by... Oh, sorry, I didn't see that there. Oh, you didn't see that there. Hello, Rob. This is, of course, the fabulous Rob of the B 
beards and so but both is doing a live stream so we shan't interrupt him too but i and will I am point i obliged to remind you that double beds are for married couples only and a cup breakfast is a 10 pound supplement per person so this is, is Boaties. Yes, there is, a, there is Here's Boaties, uh, blue MGF. Now this sounds quite fruity. And it would do. Yeah. So I think this has had some uh, had some little modifications done to it. It had a lot of big modifications yeah. done to it. So we won't we won't spoil Boaties Thunder by uh, revealing too much. But yeah, this this sounded very very nice when he drove in about an hour ago. God, is it an hour? Doesn't fly when you're uh, next to it, we've got a blue blue F. So it's interesting. So look at the, the different faces these cars have got. So we've got Ross says hello. Oh hi Ross. Uh, so we've got the yeah we've got the, the, the TF face. Um, Boaty's missing a little bit of a. I think our bumpers had some uh, some action. A couple of bits missing, and then we've got uh, the slightly sadder face of the uh, the F, and then we've got uh, this. Caledonian, Caledonian uh, monogram ZT, and then we've got two these two cars we've seen before at Oxford at the uh, the MG Oxford gathering of the Cotswold Park. So they've got sequential number plates. This one is shot silk on the left, and we've got bittersweet on the right. And we've seen this before. Very attractive. They come in, they come as a pair. Um, you know, I think the people were looking. I think they had one and were looking for the other for quite some time. Now this this ZR really caught my eye earlier because it's in a it's in a, an unusual colour for a ZR. I think this is Le Mans green. A um, couple of uh, meaty exhaust pipes sticking out the back there, but that's a very that's this is a rare colour for these I, I would say, and that is that looks really nice. Again, no clue as to what the model is. We know it's a facelift, um, and then we've got another X Power grey ZR here. I think this one is. Uh, it's very clean inside, very, very tidy inside indeed. Um, probably just a 1.4, but that's, that's nice. They're, they're good fun. And of course, we've got Rob's ZR Express van. And that is pretty much it. So I'm going to spin you around. This is quite a brief video. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a little gathering, two gatherings actually in one. We've got the Smashing Pistons uh, meetup which there's a few people here and we've also got the MG car clubs meet up as well so thank you for watching if you've been watching beards and bangers don't forget to do all those bits so you know what to do and I'll see you again very soon on the next episode goodbye